Hello and welcome to Squarespace Tutorials with Jake Jorgovan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a contributor or an administrator to your Squarespace site. Uh, this is a common question I get and I have to answer quite a bit because uh, often my clients have to add me as an administrator to their site. So uh, what I'm going to do in this video is just basically show you how to do that very quickly. To start off, uh, once you're inside Squarespace and you're here in the content editor, uh, you're going to scroll over here to the left hand side and you're going to click on this gear over here. So you see this little gear icon that says settings. You're going to click on this gear icon and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to see this tab called permissions right here. Uh, you're going to click on this permissions tab and then what you're going to do is it's going to actually let show you any of the authors or contributors right here and you can click on them and edit their settings. Um, but what you're going to do if you want to add a new administrator or contributor is you're going to go up here and you're going to go to invite. Then you're going to put in the invite invitation information, so Jake Jordan. And you basically put in their name, their email address, and then you choose what level you want to put them in at. Um, an administrator is actually necessary for any sort of web designer or any projects that I'm working on because uh, administrator has full access over everything on the site including the stylization. Uh, billing, that is just if you want to let someone else enter their credit card information on it, so if you have a billing department for your company. Uh, comment moderator, all they can do is basically just edit and comment on the comments on the site. Store manager can only manage basically e-commerce and can't really touch anything else. Uh, content editor can edit content on the site uh, and submit new content, but they can't actually kind of change any of the other settings or anything else on the site. Uh, reporting is for statistics of the site, so if you have a marketing agency or anything, you can share your statistics there. And then a trusted commenter can actually bypass the comment moderation. So if you've got a heavy commenting site, then you can make someone a trusted commenter as well. Uh, when you're done, you hit save, and it automatically sends that person an invite and uh, links to their email address uh, and creates a Squarespace account for them. And that is how you add contributors and administrators to your Squarespace site. If you have any help or, or if you have any questions or need any help with your Squarespace site, you can reach out to me at jake-jorgovan.com/squarespace.